Axions are hypothetical particles. We don't know whether or not they exist, but a lot of people think that they might do, and there's a number of reasons for this. Firstly, axions are predicted by string theory, which is one of the leading theories for how physics works at the most fundamental level. And axions are actually one of the only generic predictions of string theory, so that's quite an exciting reason to search for them. And secondly, axions might make up dark matter. This is a mysterious kind of matter that we know exists because we can see its gravitational pull on stars and galaxies. But so far it hasn't been detected in any other way. And this means that we don't know what it is, what kind of particle makes it up. And it turns out that axions have all the right properties to be dark matter. The search for the axion is very difficult. And that's because axions interact only very weakly with the particles that we know about already. And in particular, axions, axions interact very weakly with light. Most of our observations of the universe come from looking at light. That's what telescopes measure. That's visible light, X-rays, gamma rays, the whole electromagnetic spectrum. But axions only interact with this light very weakly. So it's very hard to detect them using the tools that we already have. One thing I'm doing is looking for signs of axions in galaxy clusters. Galaxy clusters are groups of 100 or so galaxies that have clustered together. And crucially, they host large magnetic fields, which are very, very powerful in the search for axions. And this is because when you've got a magnetic field, that means that an axion can have a chance to convert into light that we can actually see. So looking for the right environments will help us to maximize our chance of finding the axion if it does exist.